If there's one thing that we see a lot in marketing and online, in content, in speakers these days, um, you know, there's a lot of professional speakers. There's a lot of influencers that are talking a lot and some of them haven't achieved. Jim Ball, Jim Cavell, um, and his wife Yasmin Cavell, great people. Um, so how they fit in is I actually went to high school with Jim. He was like a year or two older than me. But I've been watching him for the last like decade and fascinated because he's just, you know, he was big time athlete in high school and he was always into sports. Like Jim was a phenomenal um, athlete. And I see a problem when it comes to, not just in sports, but brands in general on social media, not being connected. Al, um, we were looking for just really badass speakers, somebody that could make a lot of impact um, to the audience and has the chops and the background to back it up rather than just talking about it, they've actually done it. And Al said that uh, he knew uh, of Jim, knew Jim. Um, he had local ties, which is great, and that he's building a really cool and aligning with what I do in marketing, really cool platform that helps colleges harness, um, colleges and athletes harness content um, that's already being created, photos of athletes, things like that. So this platform is, is really cool, fast growing. And um, I think Al showed me some videos uh, of him, or maybe I just looked him up and it seemed like a really great public speaker. And then tied in uh, his wife, Yasmin, and the great things that she's doing and, and growing the, the Glow app. Start first. Like, just do it. You yeah. know what I mean? Just do it. And it brought a really cool dynamic to have them speak together. Um, it's something that we don't have for the other speakers and, and something you don't see a lot at these uh, conferences is a husband and wife duo that are both entrepreneurs that are living their lives uh, juggling their lives as entrepreneurs. So it brought a really cool dynamic that I'm really excited to see. Happy to have them. Speaker to make sure that we always get the tags. So they feel like, holy shit, these guys are really making us look good. You know, I think we, I'll mention Gary, which I think we're gonna go deeper into another mm -hmm. episode, but like Gary was really the pillar for us making this event happen. I would just produce at scale. This has now become singularly a making game. Make. Make, make, make. We either weren't gonna do the event or we were gonna go in a different direction. So when we were able to secure Gary Vaynerchuk and his brother AJ Vaynerchuk sort of came as a package, that allowed us the opportunity to be able to reach out to other really great speakers that we wanted mm -hmm. and it brought a lot of clout that made it a lot easier for us to get them to sign up. But beyond Gary, the way we were selecting speakers is that we, we really had a few things that we wanted to make sure that each speaker had. Uh, number one is that they had walked the walk. Uh, talk the talk. Wait, what? They had walked the talk? No. I don't know. The walk. They had talked the talk and walked the walk. <laughs> <laughs> so we wanted to make sure that they had built something. They had gotten their hands dirty. They had actually built something from scratch or started from the ground and lived it so that when they talk about it, it's not just something they read in a blog post or they took a course on online marketing and now they know marketing or whatever it might be, right? So we wanted to make sure that each speaker had the background and experience um, to share with our audience in a tactical way. So that was the first most important thing and are inspiring for other people to learn how they did it, right? So they're talking about something that they haven't necessarily achieved yet, which is okay. I'm not saying it's not okay. Like, it's great to talk about what you're experiencing at this time. That's exactly what we're doing right now. That's exactly what this vlog is, is we're talking about what we're doing right now. But for this particular event and these speakers, we wanted to make sure that they had the resume to back up what they're talking about for our particular event. The other thing we were looking for is we wanted to make sure that they were doing something that was a little bit against the grain. They're leading their industry, they're, going against common you know, perception. Um, I'm not gonna name all the speakers because this vlog might go out before we announce them all, but um, you know, Gary is always going against the grain and basically telling the world, like this is what actually works. This is what you need to actually, you, you need to 
tackle your happiness before you try to make a million dollars. Otherwise that million dollars is not gonna make you happy. It might make you more depressed. Like talking about things that actually matter, talking about business strategies that actually work. Shay Robata, one of, the, one of our other speakers. Stop apologizing after the first sorry and then focus solely on how you're going to fix it. She's a great example because she's not even big time yet, right? She's one of our main speakers, but she, one of the reasons why I'm pumped to have her is that she grew from virtually nobody, just a, oh, just an un, unknown, I mean, I'm a nobody, like just an unknown uh, figure in the online space into one of the most prominent LinkedIn influencers in less than a year. Literally in less than a year by doing what she loved, by doing what she knew worked, uh, and by being vulnerable and honest, like showing her true personality on a business platform, LinkedIn of all places, she exploded. People loved it. They loved her honesty, they loved her humor, they loved her message. And she was also tying that into business. So she was making fun of like the sales industry and she was making fun of like, uh, you know, working from home and people really responded to it, right? So that's a perfect example of how she actually went from just being, you know, an average person into now being a celebrity LinkedIn influencer who's getting speaking gigs all over the country and content requests and, it's just super inspiring and she's actually done it. And that's something that we really want our attendees to notice about these people is that if you wanna grow, if you wanna be super successful, one of the fastest ways to do that is to not conform, right? Don't do what everyone else is doing, otherwise you'll be another sheep in the herd. Be the, as Seth Godin says, the purple cow, be the one that people are like, what the f is that purple cow doing out in that field? I wanna go see what that purple cow is about. That's how you grow fast, whether you're a company, whether you're a person, and a lot of our speakers have done that. I went real quick this morning. I was like, oh God, I gotta get myself together, which I didn't do like mediocre job, like a 5.5. But if you see this side burn, you see this? Mm -hmm. You see this? Good, got a good, nice little angle it's to it. It's got a nice, but I can't pull that off, right? It's just, ah, it should, it's weird, right. it's weird. Good. Like I'm not in a blues band, like this is weird. And then bang, whoops. What happened on that That one angles the other way. This one angles like <laughs> upward. I. I hate Why don't we get you to do the interview instead of me today? Yeah. <laughs> two, two cameras. Yeah. So this is Charlie <laughs> and this is Suzette. So that's my big issue today and why I don't belong on camera or in public. Sick day. Sorry guys, I have the coronavirus. You know, I, I actually almost My sideburns have the coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> just just, just Susie. Just, just Susie has the Oh, I touched my face. I know. I, me too.